What's going on guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen Bunch of Crunch Army. Woo! Man, I hope you guys are excited, man, because our best days haven't even come yet. I'm telling you, man, like we're just getting started. So be encouraged about your life, no matter what's happening on the inside, no matter what's happening on the outside, know that life is gonna get better and better. Just don't give up. So today's video, we're gonna be covering five absolutely game-changing qualities the pros have that you need to start and implementing right now. Now, these are things that, you know, most of us overlook, but little do you know, they can really make tremendous differences, all right? By the end of this video, guys, you're gonna be walking away, not only motivated, but with the mindset of a champion. Who wants to be a champion? Come on. So keep grinding, my friends. We strive to bring you guys the best quality content out there. So I want you guys to get ready for this video. Now, bunch of crunch army, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. Guys, all right, you know us here at ProGuys.com. You know, we got the best services to take your game to the next level from, you know, one-on-one -on -one pro coaching, live classes, courses from pro players. Yo, it's all right here. So make sure to check out our website because you're not going to regret it. All right, guys, so our first topic is creativity. And, you know, I think it's fair to say that every pro is creative in their own unique way. All right, let's first look at Clicks. all right? Known as one of the best box fighters out there, all right? Clix is always extremely creative with his edits and peaks, right? He will always look out for the best walls to take for him to gain control over the fight and ensure he stays safe, meaning, you know, there's less chance of a 50-50. He does just jump inside his opponent's box sometimes, but mainly he plays it safe and he understands the importance of control. This clip, okay, he's in a tricky situation with little HP and an opponent that will not give up. He edits the window looking for a shot. He ends up walking into the box and his opponent is doing the same. You can see that Click still has control over the wall, but his opponent, man, he's about to break in. Instead of just holding the wall, Clicks knows he's gonna get through. So he lands out his shotgun and he lands a shot. All right, he then quickly places a stair and while having cover via a right hand peek, he edits the stair and he hits another shot, securing him the kill. All right, so this is just a great example of creativity and adaptability in Fortnite, guys. Like, this is especially crucial, especially at the pro level. You also have players like Mr. Savage, who is known for his incredible 200 IQ plays. I mean, this dude is just something else. He really is. Like, he's always been a creative player, utilizing all the utility available to him. A great example is his performance in the World Cup qualifiers. More specifically, his notorious 200 IQ play with a shadow bomb. I mean, comment down below, guys, like if you remember seeing this one, it was the time and probably still is like one of the greatest plays in Fortnite history. All right. So the things you got to start doing is first pay attention to these pro players. When clicks completes an edit. All right. Watch how he's positioned and what angle he's playing. These are some small things, but very important details that you got to look out for. Once you pick up some tips from other players, we suggest playing 1v1s, either build fights or box fights. All right, in Fortnite, especially against good players, you need to focus and pay attention to your positioning, what you control and what angles you want to play. When you're trying to improve on traits like these, all right, take some time and just fully hone in on one aspect of your game instead of just doing it occasionally or just among you know multiple other forms of practice. This is going to allow you guys to improve faster and it's going to improve really your weak points. Each pro shows their own examples of assertiveness. Like this is mainly seen by W Kears, but it's also a trait in all players. Being assertive in Fortnite, guys, it's gonna gain you both the physical advantage and the mental advantage. All right, let's break it down. Physically, when being assertive, you will gain either the health advantage or you're gonna build peace control. Being assertive is all about dominance and trying to overpower your opponent. When you take something like the high ground, this is gonna give you both the mental advantage and physical advantage, right? When we say the mental advantage, all right, we mean how you get into your opponent's head. This is when your opponent gets anxious and is worried about dying, which often results in them choking shots and they choke edits and build and, and everything else, which is something that you can take huge advantage of if you're creative and you just adapt to the ever changing situation that you're in. It doesn't really matter like what you gain first, the physical advantage or the mental advantage, really like these two combined can be very dangerous for any opponent in your way. <laughs> This is one of the main reasons why players like Benji Fishy are just so successful. All right, take this clip. Benji gains the health advantage early in the fight and straight away his opponent is panicking. I mean, who wouldn't? I know I would. He then grapples and he places a cone in the floor. He edits through and he places a wall. Edits through that and places a cone inside his opponent's box. All right, all this gains Benji the physical advantage and he's being assertive the entire time. Another great trait that Benji is showing here, and I mean like right here, is adaptability. 
which is what we'll be talking about next. Here we go. Adaptability is such a broad topic when playing Fortnite because it's just a huge number of possibilities. You can adapt in every single aspect of the game. You really can. Like, let's take a trip back to the past, all right? At some point, no one could do a single 90, but players started to get better and adapted their skill level to the new techniques that were coming out. Fast forward to the present, and the Fortnite skill level has completely changed. With pros and creative warriors constantly driving the average skill level forward by finding new and improved ways to do basically everything. So in Fortnite, every single one of you has adapted in one way or another. So we want to show you the importance of being able to adapt in developing situations like this can mean something as like a third party or just a bad fight and show you how to react properly. So let's look at two different situations and see how important it is to adapt to a developing situation. All right. First up, let's look at this clip by Benji Fishy. All right, he's fighting a player just outside the safe circle while the storm is closing. His opponent edits out of their box and tries to take the high ground. As Benji starts building to catch up with his opponent, he hears grenades being thrown at them. Immediately, Benji grapples ahead, not too far, as he isn't really trying to run. Instead, he's just trying to get to safety while still continuing the fight, right? As he finds himself now inside the safe circle, he holds the player he was fighting in the storm. He runs over to clean up the kill just in time before the third party causes any more issues. This is a perfect example of awareness, my friends, and really being able to adapt in the situation that you're in. A lot of you guys think you need to finish off a fight as fast as possible, which sometimes, yeah, that is the case. But you need to be able to assess the situation really, really well and just get out of there if you need to. All right, let's take a look at another clip from our boy Benji. All right, in this clip, like he's fighting an opponent, but Benji doesn't have a shotgun. Uh-oh. Tricky situation because his opponent does have a tack. Normally, all right, when you're in a box with someone like this, you would just open up the wall, go for a shot, and reset the edit. Due to his inventory, though, that isn't the play because your opponent is more likely to land a big shot on you. Benji is very good at adapting, so he opens up the edit, he gets into his opponent's face, and he spam shoots his pistol, resulting in a kill with only 8 AP remaining. Wow. Now, don't get me wrong, this play was extremely risky, but I can't think of any play that really isn't in this situation. Benji already knew that, and he adapted a new game plan, and it clearly worked. Wow. Also, all right, if you guys are struggling to adapt in Fortnite, this could be during fights or just really with the ever-changing meta, then you gotta check out ProGuys.com. You have your choice from hiring a professional coach to do a one-on-one -on -one session, or you can look at some of our online courses, all designed with the aim to help you improve, all right? Perseverance is another trait that you need to have as a competitive player. Being able to persevere through whatever comes at you is insanely important, right? This could be in game changes like removal of the pump shotgun, which saw a lot of players any their Fortnite career. Yeah, that was it. Fortnite's meta is constantly changing and evolving update by update. So you could argue that this is one of the most important topics of the video. So if you're serious about becoming a pro, you must be able, guys, to persevere through all these obstacles. But unfortunately, sometimes the challenges can be a little bit more personal, right? All right, take one of Fortnite's biggest players, Ninja. Ninja had a retinal detachment in his right eye. He would have really awful headaches and he needed surgery. Doctor said that there was a chance that he could lose his sight in his right eye. He ended up having surgery, which meant he couldn't stream or play any games for a month and a half. The, the full game was about to release. I had surgery the day the game came out and then I was n not able to play video games or stream for a month and a half. Wow, and is everything okay now? Uh, I still can't see out of it, out of it very well. This could have deviated his career in gaming. However, being the legend that this dude is, he didn't let it stop him. And eventually he came back and he began growing his audience once again. And now he has one of the biggest names in gaming history. Whatever challenges you face in life, my friends, you can find the strength to persevere and overcome any obstacles you face. Remember guys, I believe in you. Having confidence in Fortnite is important for many different reasons, all right? Firstly, if you're confident, you're not gonna hesitate. You don't see Benji like half commit to anything. He will give it his all every single time. If he's W King, he's gonna stay focused and he's gonna be confident in his abilities. So, you know, if you're confident in yourself, you're gonna make far less mistakes because you know you're capable of completing that move or, you know, you can hit that shot. After all those hours in creative, man, practicing different techniques, you know that you're ready to get out there and just dominate. If you're confident, you know, you also seem like a better player to your opponent as well. Like, let's be real, guys. Like, every now and again, like, we see someone do a certain player edit and it really intimidates us. Once you make a confident play against someone, that's going to gain you the mental advantage that we spoke about earlier on. 
You see, one topic isn't just one topic. They all tie in and they really connect in some way, making you the best of the best. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and keep grinding to never ever stop, man, to keep putting time and effort in this game that you love to play. Fortnite, right? Keep going, guys. Keep going. That's going to be the end of today's video. But we're going to put some timestamps on the screen for you guys. You know, if you do want to revisit any of these topics that we spoke about today and make sure you don't forget to check out our website, ProGuides.com to access different services to help you improve and reach a pro level in Fortnite. Also, check out your motivation show. That is my show. Man, we're, we're help inspiring people uh, Wednesdays and Fridays, man. Check it out. Check it out on ProGuides.com on the ProGuides app. All right, we'll see you soon. Bunch of Crunch Army. Keep eating that bunch of crunch, and we'll see you soon. Peace.